What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of Draft 2 Glory. It is my honour to bring to you guys today's draft, sponsored once again by Papa John's Deep Crust Pizza, giving us a deeper understanding of FIFA 18. You guys loved the Papa John's sponsor before and I ask you guys again, what is your favourite PJ's pizza? Let me know in the comments section and of course click in the description for Papa John's pizza to the website and guys do you prefer your wings spicy or non-spicy i'm a spicy wings kind of guy personally but i know some of you guys won't be so going into the video here today guys we're going to go with i'm going to give the 4312 another shot this might end up being an error i'm hoping we'll be able to uh, i'm going to take that suarez after he destroyed me in the last episode we're going to take him i'm hoping guys that we're going to be able to do good things in this draft. Uh, we are currently uh, ten. Well, I've done eleven drafts over ten episodes, and we're in a sp we're in a position. We're in a position. Uh, let's take Marcus Rashford. We're in a position where even in that last draft, I didn't do the spreadsheet today. Uh, I didn't get it done in time from the graphics guy um, for the image. So I'm just going to have to read it out to to Toyo. I'm going to have to read it out to you. But in that draft where we did two of them. Uh, based on all the incredible things that we managed to pick up. Can I not get any good links here? Um, we actually finished 14,000, 17 and a half thousand coins in profit, guys. We made three and a half thousand coins after we sold the items that we sold. I'm going to have to go with Jamie Punch in here. Um, but we also had 14,000 coins worth of items stored into the club. So I sold, for example... Ooh, Palinho's nice. I sold, for example, Malcut 1100, Alan 2400, Ganso 1200, Klopp for 3500, Rocco 4500, Gignac 1800, Danilo 3000, Zuzur 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 for 1900, Van Hinkle for 1800, Ward for 850, Gastelledo, I don't know how to pronounce his name, 900, and Garcia, the right midfield, for 1700, plus uh, all the consumables that I managed to sell on. Uh, we ended up making. Um, back from the items sold, 30,750. So with the 2,300 match coins as well, uh, it actually puts 3,500 coins in profit before we even sold all the other items. So I was super, super happy with that. I'm going to actually have to take this guy, aren't I? That's really disappointing. Um, medium, medium. It's got good dribbling and good passing, actually. Good stamina, too. Just defending and attacking is a bit bad. So it's good at everything except defense or attack. Um... But yeah, guys, you know we're we're in an all right spot. Even in even in a draft, guys, where we lost in the first round and in the third round. Give me that, Chris Smalling. Um, we still managed to come up trumps. Do I want Eric? No, let's take them, Titty. I'm liking these uh, these Barcelona links. I, actually, if I swap those two around, does that help? No, it doesn't. Um, yeah, we're still managing to make really really good profit. So can't complain at all, guys. Can't com well can complain. It won't really do much for us, though. Uh, so we'll go for Rukavina in at right back. And uh, although we've got a full chem, or not a full chem, but a decent team, let's go to Stegen as well for that Titi link. I like the defence. I, I like the strikers. The, uh, that midfield is, is hor horrific, isn't it? It is very bad. I wouldn't mind getting a Premier League goalkeeper here. I'm not going to take Eduardo. It looks like we'll go with, uh, we'll keep with. The reason why I didn't take the Premier League Eduardo, by the way, guys. Ooh, hello, Carl Walker. Is because um, I'm more than happy with Ter Stegen and Titi. No problem at all. Um, the reason why I wanted the Premier League goalkeeper was in case I did go full BPL defence, which I could do now with Van Dyke and Walker, but I don't have a goalkeeper. So it might be more beneficial to take Jordi Alba and play him out there at right back off Kem. In fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, unless we can get another goalkeeper from the Premier League one stage or another. We'll take uh, Gulfi here. We'll pop him in at that cam spot. We actually get more chemistry for putting him there. Eh. Well, that's not so bad. I actually quite like this midfield now. We just need to change two more of the players. Garcia's not so bad either. Garcia doesn't really help. Garcia just doesn't help, does he? We don't have any Spaniards from the from the La Liga, so it, it's going to have to be Premier League down the left hand side and and not down the right hand side. So we'll take instead Jermaine Lentz, um, and we'll we'll take him as a super sub. Moving on to the next pick, Ooh. 
Ramelu Lukaku. Um, you know what? Let's take Romelu. Let's pop him in there instead of Luis Suarez. Let's switch those two around. That puts us up to 97 chemistry. Everyone's doing all right there. And we'll use Suarez maybe as a sub instead. Could also take Roberto Firmino. Not that I need to. He's a decent player. Danilo, don't really care about. Mascherano, don't care about. Fazio, I'm, I'm, let me take Willian as a super sub. We've got some really good subs now, so it's only about really improving. Ooh, Eric Bailly. <sighs> I'm going to take Eric Bailly. Do you know what I'm going to do as well? I'm going to take Eric Bailly. I'm going to do this. And you guys are probably screaming at me for not doing this. You see that? And then Carl Walker here. I don't know how I didn't see that before, but I've seen it now. So Smalling is good for chemistry. Only on seven, he could do with that one extra link. And then the left-hand side is fine for chemistry. Perfect stuff. I've taken Eric by If I do get a Premier League goalkeeper, I will play by instead. Um, but if I play... Wait, does he get... Oh, I'm going to play by anyway, actually. Just because... Um, he gets the same chemistry as Smalling, even though the links are there. So next on the board, um, I don't really want to play Jamie Punchin. I'll tell you what I might do. I might bring on Suarez straight away, drop Gilfie down into that centre mid spot, and go from there. Um, Julian Drax is a really good centre mid to bring on as well, actually. I could have taken Balassi and put him in off chem as well. I could really use a centre mid here, EA. Like, it would be nice, man. Um, let's take uh, Kingsley Coman and then our final pick. We've already got our silver. One one an icon to, to end with. Ooh. See, we've got Keen. See, I didn't get that. I could, if I did take Ricardo, I could have played a full Premier League defence, but then I wouldn't have had the midfielders. Uh, there's no point in taking Keen. We'll take, uh, let's take Jefferson Farfan. Has he still got four-star skill moves? No, three-star, three-star. Um, for our bench, we'll pop on Julian Draxler for Labiad. Is Labiad still 4-4? He used to be a silver card, did Labiad. He was very good. Five-star, four-star now. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Kingsley Coman can come on instead of the goalkeeper. Um, I've got pace merchants, got good midfielders. Going to bring Suarez on anyway. Let's put Chris Smalling on as well, just in case we need a midfielder. I'm quite happy with the team. Um... Other than obviously punching in uh, as a silver, I uh, don't mind it too much. Now, if we go for him, we can only get one up to eight chem. And then we've got Ivory Coast and yeah, so we're gonna have to go for the oh crap. I didn't even get I didn't even get the right one anyway. Never mind. Um, this is the team. It's not the best team. I hope for some big things, guys. I don't want to let you guys down again with a first round X here. I will be putting Gilfi into the centre mid spot and Luis Suarez in at Cam from kickoff. I'm hoping that trio of Suarez, Lukaku and Rashford, I'm actually going to swap them around there. Uh, Suarez, Lukaku and Rashford, I hope the trio is going to be big enough to, um, to do some good things. If not, then so be it. But that, guys, is the squad. Let's get in to the action. Okay, guys, as we go into the gameplay, the first opponent we'll come up against has got a very nice 4-3-3 team. Ronaldo, Ben Yedda, Salah, Isco, Asensio, Kovacic, Savic, Maldini, Jordi Alba, Hector Bellerin, and Ter Stegen in goal. A very, very nice team. The ingredients of the pizza may be similar to the ingredients of the players on the field. You get the right ingredients on the top of your pizza, it tastes fantastic. You get the right players in the team. And they play fantastic. And we start things off very well indeed. Luis Suarez just on the field with a finesse shot from the top of the box from the free kick to make it 1-0. We then get a nice little bit of a play down the right-hand side. So Gerdson gets in behind the last line of defence and slams that one home into the bottom left-hand corner to go 2-0 up. I did concede around the 27th minute. Very similar to my first goal. Ronaldo there takes a shot. It actually deflects off of Sigurdsson's bonnet. And that's what beats Ter Stegen to make it 2-1. But there was plenty time 
for plenty more goals from me in this game. We break, break through here with Rashford, just running in that straight line. For me personally, I find it so difficult to defend, so I can imagine how difficult it was for my opponent to defend there as well. We go 3-1 up, it eventually became 4-1 before half-time as well. Romelu Lukaku shields off the defender, launches that one to the top right-hand corner of the goal to make it 4-1, and then it soon became 5-1 as well. Just before half-time here, Rashford in behind, Plays it to Suarez. Beautiful little bit of work there between Rashford and Suarez who squares it to Romelu Lukaku who taps that one home to make it 5-1. There was time for one more goal in this game. 60 minutes on the clock. I hold off Savic a couple of times there. It falls to Paulinho. Paulinho to Lukaku. Lukaku to Suarez. Suarez to Guardado. And Guardado pops it in the back of the net. And that, guys, is where this opponent said he had had enough 6-1 in the 61st minute illuminati confirmed we go through with a very comfortable score line there guys and obviously very very happy to have done so so an easy win in round one i'm hoping for something similar in round two but we come up against an insane team neymar inform messi gareth bale roberto carlos and maldini let icon cards we've got inform azpil equator semedo kovacic paulinho the only bad player on his team is his right centre-back. But that is an insane team. And I've not played against many five-back formations this year, so I wasn't sure how hard it was going to be. But let me tell you, with a team as good as that, and a formation as solid as a 5-2-2-1 or 5-2-3, it was tough, guys. He scored the first goal there with Neymar breaking through very nicely past my defence to get the first goal. But I was definitely not out of this game. We come straight back into it. A good challenge on Lionel Messi there. And Titi plays it straight up forward to Luis Suarez. Suarez plays it out wide to Romelu Lukaku. His defender just completely ignores the fact that the ball's there. And Lukaku slots that one home to make it 1-1. A little bit fortunate for me, to be honest, because his defender probably should have cleared that one up. But you take it where you can. Just after that goal, not too long after the goal, Kovacic here gets a little bit of space, plays it into uh, Paulinho. It's a mess of a goal, it really is. I don't think he meant two of those passes. And it was just very difficult to defend because the passes went into very peculiar areas and he made it 2-1. I eventually pulled it back to 2-2 with a great counter-attack here. Lukaku with a lovely little drag back, plays it into Marcus Rashford. Rashford makes the cut with the run, hits him with a uh, roulette and then a great low driven into the bottom corner to make it 2-2. That was a phenomenal goal from Marcus Rashford, showing why he's worth so many coins. Unfortunately, 55 minutes in, uh, Ter Stegen with a punch instead of a catch which is just a bit strange. It falls back to Roberto Carlos, and I was just way too aggressive trying to get a tackle. My two defenders that could have uh, intercepted there both stood still, watched the ball go past into Lionel Messi's path, and he made it 3-2. And then it wasn't too long after, guys, that he made it 4-2 as well. I'm obviously on ultra-attacking right now to try and get back into the game. I'm chasing shadows here a little bit. Beautiful little 1-2 between Neymar and Messi. It goes back to Messi, and that's just a lovely goal. Make no bones about that. That is a very, very tidy, very, very clean goal. Sadly for me, that was the end of the goal-scoring feat in this game. I did uh, have a really, really good time of it. Six saves for Ter Stegen, but nine saves for his Jose Reina there. Uh, I just was unable to take the chances where I could. You can see there I had 11 shots and 10 on target to the very few of my opponent. I think he had nine shots and eight on target, so he hit a lot of his shots went in. And uh, for me, not so many. But this, guys, is going to be the end of the gameplay Let's get in to the packs. So guys, once again, thank you to Papa John's and the Deep Crust Pizza uh, for sponsoring today's video. Unfortunately, the Deep Crust Pizza did not give me a deeper understanding of how this game works because I suck. There's no two ways about it. I've never, ever, ever struggled so hard in draft in my life. We have now won one draft in 12 entries. That is pathetic. I'm not even kidding. That is pathetic. Um, it's, emb it's embarrassing is what it is. 24 wins, 11 losses overall. Um, I should, after 12 entries, I should have at least three to four draft wins. I'm way behind the curve that I want to be on. And I don't know what the problem is. Uh, you know, th today's draft, it's a decent team. It's not a great, uh, ow, nearly beat myself. It's not a great team. Uh, it's a decent team. Uh, the guy that came up against in the second round, he had an insane draft and five at the back, which was really difficult to break down. And once he got ahead, you know, I was constantly chasing the game. Um, but there's no excuse, you know, there's no excuse. I'm missing easy chances. You saw uh, the match stats at the end of that second round there. You know, his keeper made nine saves to my keepers, three or four, I can't remember exactly. I had more shots, I had shots from better positions, and I just can't put the ball in the back of the net. So I really need to work on my finishing throughout the next week. It's, it's sad. Um, 
because I want to do better in terms of results. But what a positive part of it is, is that Draft to Glory is about profit made, not about results. And there's not been a single draft yet where we haven't made profit, which is absolutely insane. And from today's draft, we'll get two gold packs and a jumbo gold pack. So we'll see what we get out of these and see if we can get anything even semi-decent. We don't get a rare gold player out of the first gold pack, but there could still be some good consumables in here and items um, that are worth some stuff. So we'll... Uh, I'll have a look at all the players afterwards. He's at least... Yeah, 800 coins, not bad. So we've got Ron Caglia, Peralta, a couple of contracts, a couple of fitness cards, and a wall chem style. We also have Essa there that we'll send to the trade pile, and we'll get 112 uh, discard coins and move into the second gold pack. I, I just... I need to... I guess I just need to play more. You know what I mean? I just need to keep playing to figure out... Oh, we get a rare gold. I just need to keep playing to figure out where I'm going wrong. We're going to get ourselves a Leyun this time around. Not exactly an expensive card, but a gold rare is better than three commons. Um, we also get Gonzalez and Barbosa. A couple more contracts, a couple fitnesses, a healing card there as well. Given uh, where we're at right now with this, this might well be the first draft where we actually lose coins overall. Uh, we're, we're not looking good. It's not looking promising for where we're going to be. Oh, we get a board player. No way. Who is it? Swiss goalkeeper. It is Sommer, is it? I don't care that it's Sommer. We get a board player. That's insane. I'm so happy with that. I'm so happy. The pack luck, guys, continues. Sommer there, I bet he's only worth about 1,002, 1,300 coins. If that, yeah. Maybe like 1,000, yeah, 1,200 coins. But he's 83 rated, so we'll hang on to him. And eventually he will have some good value. So I'll take that. Hugo Mayo here is an 80 rated. We're looking at 1,500, maybe 1,400 coins for him. I'm actually going to list him up straight away. Uh, let's list him up for 1,400 and get rid of him. Um, Veltman, probably not worth, uh, worth anything. 1,000 coins on open bid for Veltman. 3.5k. No way are we actually going to make profit here again. Two... Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna list Veltman up for two k. Uh, I, I might relist him if needs be. I can't believe we're gonna we're gonna potentially get our money back again here, guys. At least, and th this is why a draft is so good. It's just so profitable. It is absolutely insane how profitable draft is. I don't know if we'll get quite our money back. It depends how much we can sell Sommer for when we sell him. This guy looks like he's worth a thousand, uh, maybe seven hundred. Yeah, 700. I'll hang on to him, though. Um, that That's just awesome. That is awesome. We've got another board player. We get some more contracts and fitness cards. The right back to right wing back. No, it's the right right wing back to right back that's the expensive one now, isn't it? See, look at that. 250 bid. This is the one that's like worth a little bit. 300 there. We're actually going to get like 600 coins off of that. That's That's quite insane. Um, powerhouse as well, which we'll get rid of. I don't think this is worth anything. Maybe 300 coins as well, but we'll take that. Guys, I'm not kidding. We've done all right here. We have done all right. We, we've pulled some money back. I have a feeling we might be getting close to our full 15k back. I'm going to go and do some uh, math. We've got 190 coins there. I'm going to go and fill up the, sort out the spreadsheet and, and so on and so forth. But I don't think we're too far away from the 15k there. And we got Sommer again as a board down player. That's a really, really good reward. Uh, getting a, a board down player. What are we going to call them? We're gonna, they're not walkouts, but is it a shine player, a board down player, a board player, a billboard player? Um, I don't know what it is, but uh, you'll see what I've decided to call it in the title. Very, very happy with that. I'm very, very sad with my gameplay. You know, uh, last year and the year before in Draft of Glory, 15, sorry, 16 and 17, I was winning drafts constantly. I don't think I ever had a run quite as bad as this. Hopefully we can turn it around and start getting back on the winning trail throughout this week. We'll have to wait and see. This though, guys, is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.